Hey, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. Aika has just learned a new spell. Panica. So let's have a look at what this does. Confuses one target into attacking nearest target. So it doesn't matter who it is that's near them. It could be friend or foe. They'll attack it. So our confusion works in this game. In case you're wondering why I'm not going for the crystals in the ceiling, they have to have that weird sheath around them if they have an item in them. There are some things I remember about this game, especially at this stage. Bits and pieces come flying back to me. See, these don't have anything in them. Nearly there. Here. It's a save icon. It can mean only one thing when you. Oh. Oh, one of these guys. Now, the good news is because uh, it's a ship dungeon, we don't actually have to worry about an actual on foot boss. We'll just take care of the boss when we get there. I'm sure you know what it's going to be. Hey, Aika, you dodged something. Aw, oh, Fina. You tried. Hydra there would have been nice, Vice. Everybody just pick a target. Oh no, 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 no. You son of a bitch. Double son of a bitch. And I set everybody to just plain attack this guy. And he's guarding. Ugh. Looks like Fina was going to try and cut its head off there. That's it. Everybody dies. Everyone else. Focus attacks on this guy. No, come on. This is getting beyond a joke now. Just give Enrique an excuse to kind of attack you. There go. Well, that battle went one of the most annoying ways it possibly could have gone. Hey, Fina also knows Panica. That looks rude. Doesn't it? Doesn't look a little bit rude. Hey, look where we are. Uh, <laughs> That, uh, that doesn't look friendly. Let's sail right into it.
That's the yellow gigas. You can tell because it's gigantic in yellow. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, Fina. Come on, Vice. We've done this a hundred times. Not fought a yellow Gigas, but we've fought Gigas lots of times. Now that it's awake, it's broken the seal. Cut that close to the rock face. Very friendly Gigas. So we probably want to cast some spells and get ourselves buffed up. I hope that this guy isn't too strong to do a lot of damage. Doing an awful lot right now. You'd expect that something with yellow uh, there that's uh, based around lightning would be doing a lot of quick attacks. Apparently not. Here's one. That's not doing too much, that's fine. Let's just fire everything we got at it. Wish I had enough spirit to actually fire everything we had at it for a, su for a sustained amount of turns. I suppose to know that we'd be heading this way at the time. I mean, that's just useless. Don't turn your back on it like that. You got no. Come on. Whoop. 
Whoa! Okay, this thing has got no physical defense. But why have you turned your back on it like that? Oh my god. Ooh, Volta Guard. Well, this looks annoying. And powerful. Mew. Even then, it's not doing a huge amount of damage. You know, we can... We can go quite a while and then use a complete kit. So annoying. I think we should try and attack it from below. Look at there's a soft underbelly. Yee. Ooh, we get a uh... We get a chance at the uh... spirit cannon next turn. So let's make sure we have enough uh... Enough spirit for that. Yeah, I'm not particularly worried. And if we could get some shots in on it instead of just facing away from it, that'd be doubly nice. We should have a shot now. Don't miss. Nice! Could do it doing a bit more damage than that. I mean, this thing's got not a lot of defense, but a lot of health. Should have plenty of spirit to go around this next month, this next turn. Actually, this is an area where a simple turn-based system like this does kind of fall down. Well, there's a hint about what we got to do. Okay, now it's probably worth making sure is that we hit quicker. We focus on these turns. So if we're quicker, we should get our shot off first. If we focus on the next two turns, we'll then have a Moonstone Cannon slot to uh, use first uh, first turn right next time because I think hitting the moonstone cannon on this will knock it offline and give us a great shot that'll open up the ability to use the moonstone cannon first turn uh, first tile next turn Really notice a difference in, in fighting style when you get the Delphinus and you start to get some big cannons on it. It has so much health and so much defense that you really do just start to take a much more aggressive stance than you would with the Little Jack. With the Little Jack you always sort of play it a little bit safe. And we're 
we're both preparing our attacks. Need to get ours off first. Oh, we're facing the wrong way again. Never mind. We'll just magically turn around on the spot. No, yeah, this is like one area where a turn based system falls down. Not having control over where, what direction your ship faces. Oh, that was nice. Probably could have used a, an Incrum actually to um, there we go, target lost to help us out with some more damage. sure how much spirit I got coming into this but if I do that should have enough I might be able to cast Ingram on the first turn next time as well why is that not I mean that ship has to have some pretty powerful engines to stabilize that Can anyone keeping tabs on how much damage we've done to this thing? Oh, launch a torpedo now! Can anyone keeping tabs on um, how much damage we've done to this thing and how much health it has? Because I really don't know. Got to be like about 200,000 health, surely. Launch torpedoes into it. I don't mean to talk too much shit about the uh, the turn-based system. It would be very, very strange if it suddenly became a, uh, a real-time ship uh, ship battle simulator. the damage for arc whale torpedoes is, or for when any torpedoes is set. Like if I cast Incrum between launching them and then hitting, will they benefit from it? Or does Incrum have to be cast beforehand? I remembered. that I have enough to get quicker and a moonstone cannon shot off. I mean, this entire game, this entire fight I haven't worried about healing the ship. See how much more this does now. Oh, hello, torpedo. You seem to be missing. I'm gonna guess the torpedo missed with that trajectory across the top of the screen. Let's see how much damage the moonstone kind of does now. Oh, 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 yes. Everything got the benefit there. Damn, I really should have just left the cannons going instead of focusing. I didn't realise it was going to do 40,000. Glorious. Probably actually a good thing, because this is one of the critical tiles. And we are facing the right way now.
we are just swinging right in front of it. You know, I kind of just want to as well, you know. Just in case. Who is what you know? Who am I like a miss? So. The problem with all of these Gigas attacks being special attacks is, aside from this main one, which we're never going to see because I keep knocking it offline, um, it's attacks can't miss. Where of course our cannons and torpedoes can miss. And will miss quite a lot. episodes ago when I was looking at the crew list and I uh, was saying god I'm missing one crew guy I wonder who it could be I'd spent the entire episode like, talking about how there's one crew guy I haven't got it's Domingo and this should be enough to take it out there we go Put it to sleep permanently. Yeah. Woo! Captain Striper, a new weapon. kidding me? That was easy. It was a slog, but it was easy. And there's the crystal. <laughs> and nobody from Valu wanted to come and have a look at what, it, what was going on. Athena has done what she set out to do, but don't worry, there's still plenty of game to go. First of things first. Mm, just seven more damage. Some say it can cut through lightning. I don't think so. bit much don't you think I, mean, I like a bit of lore much as the next guy there we go okay so we are now in the skies above the lure so we should just be able to head eastwards out of here Above the clouds. Uh, Crescent Isle somewhere. Somewhere right in front of us. There it is. I also get to see all the work that's been done on the place. Have a new fountain and everything. 
Hey! Worrying that Gildo could just rock up at our base and find out where it is. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, just put them out there in front of him. Why are some of them standing? And clearly floating. Probably answers my question, actually. Oh, sudden change of tone. Surely we could just destroy the crystals. And that seems like a good way of doing it, yeah, you know. Destroy the crystals. What is Dangrel Island? Yes, my lord. <gasps> Deep sky. <gasps> Galcian is going against the Empress. He's going rogue. I mean, I always knew Galcian wasn't the guy that you're supposed to like, but you know. Now we see his true form. And he's quite clearly swayed Ramirez. That's a nice fountain with the rocks. Where's my face? I think we're looking at the wrong rock face for my face. I think it's over here, isn't it? 
Yeah! There's an ode to vanity if I ever saw one. Oh, are you enjoying staring at that? Oh, hello Enrique. I'll leave you two to stare at my face in peace. So clearly, we need to find something to do with this deep sky monarchy. Maybe it's worth going back up to the meeting room. I'm not entirely sure. Anybody? No. Okay. Hey. Got some light in here. I guess we go to where the ship is. Hello, problem. Yeah, cutscenes are always a good sign. Slightly over exaggerated hand movements. So, oh. somewhere north of Pirate Isle. I love that little moniker on the ship. We'll make our way over and uh, foil Valua's plans next time on Skyjabark Radio Legends. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye.